Hi guys, I've got one of those shopping list requests for making a rubber band powered car or rubber band racer, I think they called it in the request. So this is the shopping list. Four rubber bands, doesn't say what size those rubber bands can be. Three unsharpened pencils, four metal paper clips, masking tape, four CDs for wheels, and a 16 inch by 16 inch piece of cardboard. Right, first of all, cardboard. I happen to have a packing case here. And if I measure that, that way, that comes to about 15 and a bit height. And about 15 and a bit wide. So if I cut that piece out, that will be about the size that I'm supposed to use. It'll be slightly smaller. But I think the 16 by 16 is just the maximum you can use. So I think we're all right there. Next, unsharpened pencils. Well, I don't have any unsharpened ones. These are the longest ones I can find because obviously they'll be the axles. So I'll choose the best ones out of them to use for the axles. But that means the maximum width of the car for these axles to go through has got to be narrower than the pencil. Masking tape. I do have some. I hate the stuff. It always tears where you don't want it to. But I have some, so we can use that. And I've got four CDs. So, I've cut my bit of cardboard. Lost a little bit there from the glue that was gluing it together. But this is about 15 by 15. Right, these appear to be my longest pencils, so I'll we'll use them as the axles. So my car cannot be any wider than, let's see, probably about 13. In fact, if we make it 12, 12 centimeters, what's 12 centimeters? About four and a half inches, four and three quarter inches if you're into inches. <coughs> and I go four and a half. That's going to be the width of my car. I'll use the width of the ruler. Right, I'm going to fold those up, just those bits, to be the edges of my car. Right, I've just realised my camera stopped filming a couple of times there, so I think we might have missed some of the stuff that I've done. I've cut a hole in the bottom there to make it easier to get my fingers around the back axle and wrap the rubber band around there. I've also put a, another layer of cardboard on the outside of the wheels to thicken up the area that the axle is gripping on. So that's just on the back wheels, just to give them a bit of extra, give the axle extra grip on the wheels. And then we were getting wheel spin, so I've just got a old nine volt battery there just to add a little bit of weight at the back. Without the weight in there, 
we have to use less power otherwise the wheels spin and the car doesn't go forwards. Demonstrate this rubber band over the top of the axle. <laughs> Hold it there until it comes round the other side, and then it holds itself in place. Excellent. Full distance. For those of you who like to know these things, my kitchen is just over five metres long. And my conservatory is another three. And you add in the bit for the wall in the middle. So we just did over eight metres, nearly nine. And we hit the door so it would have carried on a bit further. That'll do. Summary time. What have we got? Rubber band powered car. Cardboard body. Pencils for the axles. CDs for the wheels. Masking tape to hold it all together and four rubber bands. Now the original specification also allowed us to use four paper clips. Oh. <laughs> but I didn't need them, so I didn't use them. I expect if your teacher or whoever says you must use the paper clips, just clip them on the side. They're there then, but I did need to add a bit of weight to hold it on the floor to stop the wheels spinning. Now, now that I've run it backwards and forwards a few times, the bearing surfaces have loosened up. And I probably don't need the weight. So it will probably run without the weight as long as you make sure your axles in their bearings are nice and loose. Um... I added the extra cardboard on the outside, so it's on the outside and the inside of the wheels to make them stick on the axles better. You'll see the front ones are actually wobbling around quite a bit now, so you could add extra cardboard on the outside of them too to hold them rigid. But it works, and we did a good 8 metres there quite easily. Full length all the way through. And managed to hit the camera at the end. So I'm going to claim that one as a full success.